What's up YouTube and uh, welcome to another beer review. Uh, this is Mike from Beer Me A Beer on YouTube and uh, tonight I'm going to be reviewing a beer that uh, I've never heard of before. I've never even actually, to be honest, heard of the brewery uh, but that's probably what's going to make it decent. Um, it is Downtown Brown, it's the name of the beer. Uh, it's made out of Lost Coast Brewery out of Eureka, California. Uh, right on the bottle it says uh, a smooth, medium-bodied nut brown ale, handmade in small batches. Uh, it's got kind of an interesting uh, bottle uh, label. It's kind of neat. Um, so anyway, I uh, picked this up at a, at a, a wine, excuse me, a total place called Total Wine that has tons of different beers. So uh, looking at Beer Advocate, Beer Advocate gives it a B overall, which is, a, a, I guess, a good rating. It's out of 290 reviews. Uh, they recommend pairing it with cheese and meats and tonight I am having some steak off the grill So that is going to be a good pairing. I think uh, the glassware they recommend is a pint glass or a mug and uh, I'll be using a mug and one thing to note this mug is room temperature. It's not a frosted mug uh, Me and another guy was talking about uh, You know ordering uh, for, You know when you request a mug at a bar to request one that's room temperature Because uh, beer has more flavor and a little bit warmer it gets uh, anyway, I'm trying to make this short, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and, and, and uh, open this. But first, let me tell you a couple things. It says serve it between 45 and 50 degrees. That's the recommended serving. And uh, it's considered an English brown ale. So that's that. All right. Now, I don't know why, but my last popper was from Belize. This one's from Puerto Rico. I don't know why. But either way, I've been to Puerto Rico. I went there last uh, two years ago. It was pretty cool. So anyway, here we go. And I think this one's going to be a little better for uh, the smoke. So let's here we go. Yes! I think Jody would like that. I mean, it's not great, but Joe, that smokes for you, buddy. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, oh, that definitely damages the... So, but they opened it, so, oh well. Here we go. Definitely a nice brown nut color. And that was kind of a heavy, kind of a, uh, not a light pour, and it has almost no head. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, it's not even a finger. I mean, it's, it's tiny. There's almost nothing there to it. Uh, very, very thin head. Uh, almost nothing to it. Um, but uh, let's go to color. Color is a nice brown, nutty brown. Uh, it's not really showing through well on the. Let's see how I can get some more light in here. Well, either way, it's hard to tell, but it, it, it's very similar to a Newcastle brown arrow. I know it looks pretty dark in the uh, in the, the video here, but it is brown. Uh, the head, which is pretty much almost gone now, is um, kind of a light tan color, and uh, really almost non-existent. Body. Uh, I definitely not. I don't think I'd consider that a medium body. That seems pretty, pretty light bodied. But um, overall, nice color. Uh, looking at the side, there is some small champagne size bubbles coming up on the sides. Let's see if you can see it. Didn't think so. But either way, uh, there is some small champagne like bubbles coming up. Let's move on to smell because again, I want to make this video as short as possible. Hmm, it's very nutty. Very very nutty. Um, it smells good. It's got uh, a hint of uh, some some roasted like, gosh, um, it's definitely a nut 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 smell. Um, it's it's heavily malts for sure. Um, let's see what else. There's something a bit fruity or sweet about it, but overall it's mostly just malts. And um, no hops at all. So anyway, here we go. Cheers. Mm. That's a heavy, heavy nut flavor. Uh, the lacing is quite thin on the on the on the glass. Um, and. It's good. Um, it's definitely malty. It's a very, very malty beverage for sure. Uh, heavy malts. Um, good some roasted uh, malts in there for sure. Um, but I think it's pretty malty. 
Um, some people I think have claimed that it's not terribly malty, and I, I wouldn't say it's too malty, I think it's just right. It's definitely got a, a nice sweet, uh, malty, chocolatey almost flavor to it. So yeah, it's quite good. Um, I like the beer, I recommend it. I'm gonna give it um, one thumb. Um, it's not a solid one thumb, it's just a one thumb. It's a good brown ale. I wouldn't, it's definitely not a Newcastle. A Newcastle, I think for me, is probably a good um, uh, two thumber, but uh, this is a, a good one, uh, not a solid one. Um, and I might have to go a different rating system because I, uh, I kind of want to give it a half a thumb, but I think that's kind of weird. So one thumb it is, and uh, but it's not bad. It was only a couple bucks, I think, at the store, $1.52. Um, here's the bottle again, if you're interested. And uh, if you like uh, brown, uh, brown ales, uh, you, you might you might enjoy this. It's got a nice nutty flavor to it. So uh, that's it, and I hope you enjoy this review. Cheers.